welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap-Up, I'm Hannah Bernard. Canadian investors are smiling this week as the TSX continued its winning streak, posting its fourth straight day of gains on Thursday. U.S. markets also managed modest gains as it shakes off concerns over last week's disappointing jobs report. How did the week shape up? Let's find out. U.S. markets turned in a choppy week this week as investors digested earnings reports, a rebound in oil prices and searched for signs of a pending interest rate hike. The Dow Jones Industrial Average regained 56 points on Thursday to close at 17,958. Energy led the way on the S&P 500 index which picked up over 9 points on Thursday or 0.45% in value to close at 2,091. And the Nasdaq fought off a major midday slump, bouncing back with a near 24-point bump to close at 4,974. Now let's turn to Canadian markets, which, as we mentioned, had a fantastic week, capping off with a triple-digit gain for the TSX on Thursday. The TSX delivered solid straight gains all week and finished on Thursday with a 112-point leap to close at 15,326. The TSX Venture Exchange also turned in a positive week, finishing off on Thursday with a 2.12 bump to close at 691. Big news from Bell Media late Thursday, President Kevin Krull is out following an ethics scandal over his reported interference of CTV's news coverage of the CRTC. The Globe and Mail reported last week that Krull tried to prevent the CRTC chairman from appearing on air on CTV during the station's reporting of the CRTC's new pick-and-pay rules for broadcasters. In the statement, Bell Canada President and CEO George Cope directly alluded to the incident, saying there can be no doubt that Bell will always uphold the journalistic standards that have made CTV the most trusted brand in Canadian news. Now to winners and losers in our picks for the week. The winner for this week is Pier One Imports Inc, ticker symbol PIR. Shares in the ailing home furnishing chain jumped 9% on Thursday after it offered investors a bit of hope in its Q4 financial report, delivering its best showing in five quarters. Pier 1 picked up $1.14 a share to close at $13.79. The bump comes on word that Pier 1's investment into its new e-commerce platform is finally set to pay off. The loser for this week is Zenga Inc, ticker symbol ZNGA. Shares in the iconic social video game maker plunged nearly 18% on Thursday following the return of Zenga founder Mark Pincus as CEO. Investors reacted sharply to the abrupt change in command announced late Wednesday. The move is bringing back bad memories about the problems that prompted Pincus to step down as the company's leader nearly two years ago. With Pincus at the helm, Zango lost more than $600 million in 2011 and 2012 as its signature Facebook game Farmville fell out of favour. That's enough about this week, now let's turn to BayStreet.ca's look at the week ahead and the snapshot of what analysts are forecasting for companies whose earning reports are coming out next week. Here are three US stocks to watch. First up on Tuesday is Intel Corp with an EPS forecast of $0.40 cents compared to $0.38 cents in the prior year quarter. Next up on Wednesday is Netflix Inc. with an EPS forecast of $0.68 cents compared to $0.86 cents in the prior year quarter. Finally on Thursday is Citigroup Inc. with an EPS forecast of $1.41 compared to $1.30 in the prior year quarter. And now here are two Canadian stocks to watch next week. Up on Tuesday is Performance Sports Group LTD with an EPS forecast of $0.09 cents, compared to a loss of $0.11 cents in the prior year quarter. And also on Tuesday is Shaw Communications Inc. with an EPS forecast of $0.09 cents, compared to $0.40 cents in the prior year quarter. And that wraps it up. Thanks again so much for joining us for another Weekly Market Wrap-Up. Before you head out for the weekend, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or podcast on iTunes and find us on Facebook and on Twitter. For Val Networks News and BayStreet.ca, I'm Hannah Bernard.